Oh shoot. Here we go. I see live. We are live, dude. You want to verify the audio? Yo, welcome to another episode of Make It Rain. This is our live stream. Um, you know, here we, we talk about anything and everything. You know, we're trying to not get canceled. <laughs> but at the same time, we're trying to be, you know, open-minded and um, very discovering of opinions and thoughts, right? So, with that being said, uh, I am your co-host, Peter Yang, and this is... He's a boxer, right? <laughs> okay, cool. Hey, can you uh, can you pull the mic uh, away from you a little bit? Okay, so one thing I realized on the live is that it's really loud on your voice, but my voice can't really help it. What? So what about now? Because I'm I'm like really far away from my mic. That's strange. Yeah, mine is really low. Really low. Okay. Well, that's why we uh, that's why we test these things, right? Um, all right. What about now? Can you uh, can you hear anything? Okay. Double check. Double check. Okay. Double check. Yeah, a lot better. All right, tight. Cool. A lot better. Easy fix, baby. Sorry for the technical yeah. difficulties. <laughs> you know, we, we're Asian, but uh, we we don't know everything. Okay, <laughs> let's go right into it, man. Uh, so on this All episode, right, yeah. man, you got uh, you got videos for us to check out, right? Yeah, we got videos for um, Peter to check out and see what his thoughts is. And uh, we're going to, you know, discuss about the thoughts and um, on the videos. Okay, I'm going to transition over to the first video. We're going to be watching some pretty controversial um, TikTok videos. So, bring it on! What could you not live without for one month? Sex, for sure. Okay. Okay, I was just making sure we're on the same page now. <laughs> Ten years in, we okay, better I'm gonna be. watch the stream. Sweet! All right, so... Oh. What's up? Is this true or not? Yeah. This one, right? right. Yeah, just just yeah. Okay, so so the question to this one is uh is it true or not? Right? Yeah. Okay, right, here we go. What could you not live without for one month? Sex, for sure. Okay. Okay, I was just making sure we're on the same page now. <laughs> Ten years in, we better be on the same page. <laughs> is that his wife? Yeah, that's that's his hot wife. Oh, tight, tight, tight. <laughs> Respect. Cool, man. Uh, so, you, <laughs> so, so, so you want you want my opinion on that on that question? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that true? I think um, a thousand percent. Oh yeah, dude. You know, I'm I'm actually taking this medicine. Uh, it's to help. Uh, it's to help regrow my hair, right? And one of the side effects is uh, uh, a decreased of. Um, I don't know how to word it, but but you don't want sex as much, and so I I, I think that's kind of true in the in the symptoms. So I I I haven't had the urge to want it as much, but a month is is very you know it's, it's stretching it. You know I definitely I definitely want to you know fuck <laughs> in that in that month. Probably not the best word. That's but, cool, man. But, uh, <laughs> but to make love. There you go. There you go. Make love. That's what uh, it is. Make love, man. Yeah. Um. Yeah, oh, man. A month. A month is a long time. Yeah. I mean, honestly, I even even till this day, I get it. Like, luckily, like sometimes once a month, you know. Amen. Sometimes even two months, dude. Huh. It's just ridiculous. Tell me, you got these right here, dude. <laughs> Every day, any day, any time, anywhere, dude. You know what I'm saying? 
Shit, now that I think about it, bro, I don't want to. It's, it's kind of sad. <laughs> <laughs> it's sad, bro. The thought of it, like, kind of like stresses me out and frustrates me a little bit, you know? Um, Why is that? But it is what it is. Why, Why is, is that? It's just a, um, just because, like, um, like, understanding that the control of it is going to be the key to focus and, and, success in discipline you know oh yeah the the self-control i think is uh yeah you know yeah. It's, it's, it's in our nature our animal nature to want to you know fuck around you know so. <laughs> it's it's definitely in dues for sure man definitely dues for sure hey did you want um, did you want to add anthony into this or or you want to hold off on that how do you want to do that um i think you come uh if you if he wants to right now uh, you want to finish up the segment first, the video segment? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Okay. All right. Our our next one, right? Why do Asian men stick with their race? Uh oh. That's the next one. Yeah. Oh sh- yeah. Yeah. That oh, is that one. Oh shoot. Huh, yeah. Hi. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Okay. So let me share it. I think you gotta watch the video first and then ask that question. It will make more sense. You right. You right. This is an announcement for all the Asian men out there. Please stop dating women of your race. Um, there's like other races that you know out there and that maybe want to date you too. Maybe you should probably try like Latinas for a chance, you know. But stop like sticking to your race. Like some of us kind of want an Asian boyfriend, you know. She. Anyway, bye. She won our, uh, she won our, uh, what is it, uh, excellent credit score. That's what she wants. She wants that, uh, that security. The credit score. She wants, uh, that she want, culture, that discipline, that, uh, that, that love. Discipline. She wants that, uh, she wants, she wants that, uh, you know, uh, upper middle class egg life. Egg That's what she wants. <laughs> the egg roll rice. Uh, yeah. That's true, man. Um, but uh, I think I think most. Uh, why do you think most Asian men do stick with their own race? Majority. I'm not saying uh, everyone, but majority. Uh, man, dude, I, I'm gonna have to say, like, for me personally, because I've, I've dated outside, you know, um, Hmong people. You know, um, I've, I've, you know, I've dabbled. You know, <laughs> my dick's been here and there. <laughs> but um, I, I think ultimately, man, it, it, it always came down to like um, like uh, values, you know, family values is a big thing for me. Like like even back then, 10 years ago. Right. Like it was, uh, you know, because I dated a Na- Native American chick. Um, you know, I was talking to a white chick. I dated a black chick. I dated. Um, that's really about it. <laughs> but 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 within those, you know, other cultures, you know, I I. I, I was uh, able to, I think for, for two of the relationships, I was able to meet the parents and then the siblings too. Um, and it just it just didn't have that same, uh, I guess, family vibes, uh, especially getting to know, you know, the, the chick more too. Uh, she didn't quite, like, have that, I guess, level of, like, family tightness, you know. Like, because, like, me and my family, like, we, we do everything together. Not just for the holidays, but you know, um, a regular weekend type of deal. You know, I, I, I think, I, I think, I think, I think that's it for me. That that's how I would answer that question. How about you, dude? Um, I believe is uh, culture. I believe is religion and culture, man. Because it's uh, example a lot of Hmong girls you can relate to and talk to easier because you understand the culture, you understand how they live by rules they live by. So you, when you approach them, it's, it's a bit easier because you, you know, stand by that as well. So automatically you relate, and especially like knowing that we both know the same language, Hmong also has an automatic relatability to it. Um, other than like, um, example, the average uh, Caucasian girl, it's a bit um, harder to... You know, you can yeah live in that American lifestyle, the uh, independency, and and you know not going to um, family reunions as much or things like that. You know, 
I'm not saying that's not possible, but I'm saying like that's you know more than likely could happen. You know, I think something you mentioned. Um, too, I think like like etiquettes too, like Asian etiquettes. I think like taking yeah. taking off your shoes at the door or or yeah, you know, just just you know whatever cultural religion um, Asians have or or superstitions and stuff like that. I, I think that's that plays a big part in I I guess that decision making too. Because I, I like for me. You know, honestly, honestly I, I feel like um, like that that culture piece, right? I, I don't feel that I personally like can relate to, but it's it's those Asian etiquettes, right? It's those. Uh, I think I think the the term is Confucius, you know, um, ideologies. I, I think is is where, you know, I, I grew up with and and adopt. Yeah. And so I, I think those those things kind of play, go into play. Yeah, and also at the back of your mind, you're gonna say like, "Oh man, I have to introduce this girl to my parents someday, right?" So not, like not knowing parents, that it's, it's it's like the whole family, <laughs> you know? Yeah, like yeah, the whole <laughs> family and how how does she treat uh, the family? How is she, you know? So then again, like go back to the etiquette of um like that lifestyle of like connecting the two will be easier, yeah. I guess, uh, and more pleasant for the family. So I, I believe that's one of the reasons why we go for Asian woman versus um, different race. I mean, I'm not I'm not like opposed to it, but you know I love different race as well. I'm not opposed to it right now, but like even before, like if I can get a Hmong girl, a legit loyal, beautiful Hmong girl instead of a, a white girl, I would choose that in a heartbeat because my parents they speak mainly Hmong. That would definitely help them out and connect with them. Yeah. Um, but I don't, also don't mind a Caucasian girl, black girl, Hispanic girl. I don't mind as well. But, uh, you know, I'd rather I, I can rather be choose. Mondoc. <laughs> I can but be uh, you, your parents are pretty good English, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's uh, yeah, my, yeah, it's my in-laws. They, they, uh, my mother-in-law actually is the one that predominantly speak, speaks Hmong. So it's very, there's that disconnect there. You know, I make an effort. You know, I say hey and right. give her hugs and stuff like that. Show her love, but. But, but when it comes to really articulating yeah. kind of what I want to say, right, like when when we argue or, or when we when I want to like express that, you know, I care about them, then that 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 becomes very hard for me to do. So. Yeah, that's completely understandable, man. That's completely understandable. Yeah. Um, I think I think well, uh, that's... What, what, what would your advice be to 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 that chick? Because <laughs> I think she's Ooh, trying to get you... Asian dick, dude. Oh, uh just keep on trying man uh sign up for uh the asian app i think east meets east is one of the asian apps um that only asian asian meets asian uh fine just keep on trying uh you, you'll find somebody eventually because like dude trust me man we love hispanic girls too you know and um maybe she's finding the wrong places man maybe go to asian store and go grocery shopping or asian store or something <laughs> yeah, you'll yeah, find somebody yeah, yeah. Yeah, you look at the, the wrong market, cause <laughs> yeah, exactly, dude. You know, I think you know. You go I, to uh, I, I car washes. I think like for her, right? Like, cause um, like what I what I notice, anyways, right? Um, back back when I used to live in Tulsa, like um, like Asian, mm, I guess Asian, town. Uh, an Asian community is very similar to like a Hispanic Latina, um, or or I mean Latino uh, community. Like the music they play. The same beat is bumping, you know, everybody dance in a circle, just like, you know, how they do at the Mong OG parties. And, you know, so there's, there's a lot of similarities I think you can get comfortable with. Yeah, she just have to look at the right, right spots, man, like uh, Japanese restaurants, uh, any kind of Asian restaurant would right. you know, shoot your shop, man. Go to a your Vietnamese chick. shop, you know what I'm saying? I think they're yeah. open to it. And one thing about one thing about I think a lot of girls don't know is that like, when a girl shoots their shot, it's most likely going to be a yes. I'm not saying every, that it's going to be a uh, no every time, but it's most likely going to be a yes. So, girls, shoot your shot. And I promise you, you won't regret it because I'm sure he's going to say yes. He's going to go on a date with you. Unless he's married or I got a girlfriend, then, you know, he's unless he's loyal. Uh, those are the no's. But other than that, do shoot your shot. I'm sure all these single guys will definitely uh, give give you a chance. That's tight. That's a good video, man. Cool. All right, so next I'm one. I'm in the next one, dude. Next video. Let's go. Uh-oh. 
All right. Pulling it up. Women cheat just as much as men. They're just better at it. And if anything, they do a lot more micro cheat. Women cheat just. Okay, here it is. Can you see it? Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm gonna watch my sh watch the stream here. Okay. And then... Women cheat just as much as men. They're just better at it. <laughs> and if anything, they do a lot more micro cheating. What I mean by this mm -hmm. is one of the things that women can do that men can't is on a daily basis, they can plant seeds for cheating without realizing. So if she just posts a beautiful picture, guys can comment and she can say, thank you. Da, 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 and that tiny thing is happening on a daily basis. Whereas for men, they can't shoot their shot with that many girls and get a reply every day. Mm -hmm. So we're living in a time where if you wanted to be a female cheat, it'd be the easiest time to be that way. So uh oh. You giving them the cheat code, dude. You just gave them the cheat code, dude. <laughs> uh, what did you do, hey, Peter? Dude? Uh, Peter, uh, one one thing real quick. Whenever yeah. you play the uh, the video, could we make it to a bigger screen instead of the triple oh, screen? Yeah, my bad, dude. Just so then, like, just so that people can actually watch the video because it's so so small from the okay. uh, phone view. But that's just for next time. But how do you, how do you feel about that though? Okay, so the question is: Is it true? Hmm. Man, right, dude. A micro I think I think definitely yeah, especially in today's age, man, dude. You can just slide into you know whoever's DM you want, uh, or you can just you know stalk who's ever stalking you. You know, I, I think one hundred percent, dude. It's so much easier for I mean, especially as thirsty as most dudes are, you know. Um, it's it, it's so easy, so so available, you know. So let me ask you this too. So like for for girls, we have an Instagram that's like showing half her body do you think that's part of kind of like displaying herself as a resume like come hit on me kind of thing i think you're definitely 100 in, in 1, percent, dude it invites that <laughs> and would that consider as uh almost like cheating cheating no i, I don't okay. consider that cheating but but you putting yourself out there you know do you think that will have more of a potential of cheating? I think it can one 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 thousand percent, dude. I mean, I do like for me, I'm always just kind of like a individual case kind of kind of guy, you know. Because I, I mean, like I like to speak for myself. Like if you were to stack statistics, yeah, I think I think most definitely bitches are cheating <laughs> if they do that shit. Those are signs, you know. Those are definitely signs. But for me. You know, if I'm wearing a speedo and shit, you know, I'm just trying to be funny. You know, um, I, I I think this is actually a, a conversation that me and my wife had a while back. You know, because she's she pull up, you know, she follows all these Instagram models and and whatnot. She's always looking at these things, and she said one time, you know, would you be okay if I if I dress like that? I was like, hell no, nah. hell no, nah. <laughs> you know. So so yeah. So I I think that answers your question, right? Kind of. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I did. I definitely for sure. Um, well, well, well. You know, now, now, I think about it too, right? It could be, cause, 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 it could be like, like. Um, I remember a conversation. I think it was like Steve Harvey or some one of those guys where they said that, um, you know, if if it's something that you do, right? Let's say you are a model, and 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 that is how you do your resume, right? And and you're promoting stuff, then yeah. Yeah, and then and then you did that before you guys met, you know. Then it's kind of like you guys gotta work things out and talk those things out. Um, and it could be too, right? From 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 my perspective, when I first you know got married was you know I I was an insecure person, you know. Um, so it's it's like that, you know. I think I think there's there's I think there's those things in those those gray areas. Would you would you ever ask your girl like if she, if she does have that profile right, and she refuses to give you like any of her passwords, hmm, interesting. or even like even like the passcode to her phone, how would you feel about that? Maybe uh, suspicious, definitely suspicious. You know, well, would you, you know, if we're, if we're would just you dating, be mad? If we're if we're just dating, I think. It'd be suspicious. <laughs> Maybe, I think, yeah. I think, if um, I think if we're married, we should be able to be, you know, open book, everything, you know. But but if we're dating, it's kind of like, mm, it's suspicious if you don't. But then I respect you because, you know, that is your privacy, you know. You just got to, 
it's, I don't know, man. That's that's weird. I think, I think if if we're aiming for the most uh, healthy relationship, I think being open is definitely vital, right? I think leaving things closed book. I mean, she don't have to give me a password for everything, you know. But but I think whenever I do ask and she gives it right away, that shows a lot more than like, oh, I don't want to give it to you, right? Um, so yeah, I, th- I think it's, uh, going to be really good, healthier relationship being more transparent and, uh, maybe check your girl's phone once in a while, man. Cause this, this I'm just saying, she, you right, you right. I should, I should check her phone <laughs> just to go on, uh, just to go on Google and, you know, search up some random stuff, you know, see how, how she actually uh, reacts. I should, to... uh, I should make a fake profile and, uh, hit her up. <laughs> <laughs> Classic doc. Hey man, it's a test. It's not. It's not toxic. It's a test. It's a test, <laughs> man. Is there another one? Let's go. Oh, Let's check it out. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold you. I'm gonna hold you onto that thought, okay? And then to the next to the next video, because it's gonna go. I'm just gonna ask you the same thing. Okay. Tied to another video, but go ahead. Oh uh, yeah, it's going. You want to go on, uh, by chat real quick? Okay. Yeah. Cool. Cool. We got. We, we got. We got the whole uh, dance crew on uh, the chat here, dude. Oh, I, I can't see the chat. We got, we got, we got Cam. We got Jonte. We got Ant. All right, I uh, so John, Cam in so long, dude. I miss that guy. Oh, uh, Cam? Yeah, dude. That guy. That guy. He's he's been kind of going around. Um, I think the last time I heard he was in California. Tight. Um, but uh, Jonte was like, "Yeah, it's true." And vanish mode is on IG is deadly because conversation will always happen even with the picture like sun. Hmm. <laughs> he, he knows about that life. I don't know what the hell he just said. <laughs> hey, we, uh, we you miss you too, Kevin. You expose yourself, dude. You exposing yourself, dude. Come on, man. You're giving people secrets. Uh, hey, Cameron, you in LA, dude? We got to kick it sometime, man. I'm in LA too. I've been to LA, so uh, hit me up. Uh, and then, of course, we almost breathe down. Uh, Anthony, uh, much better now. I think it's it's just about love. Yes, it's true. No, 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 no. That's Jante. And then, cool. We are we are good to go. Okay. Anthony is back on. I'm watching. All right, my next video. If you guys have any inputs on the videos we're watching too, like feel free to write down your inputs. Write it in the chat, man. We're 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 right in the chat, man. We see you. We see you. All right, I'm pulling up. Watch my confidence. Dis- pulling up the next video. Let's see here. All right, here we go. Watch my confidence disappear after these random girls make fun of me for taking pics. Okay, feeling my spice vibes. Was this necessary? Thank you. Criminally offensive side eye starts recording me. Telling her bestie if I can literally yeah, hear come, the, whole the video combat. is not shown on the live, by the way. What was that? The video is not showing on the live. What? I'm not sure why. It's uh, it's saying um, your stream is still running. Okay, now now it's on. Oh, but, but could you could you hear the audio? Yeah, yeah, the audio is good, but then it keeps on going on and off. That's weird. Uh oh, I know what's going on. Your stream is still running, and that's all. That's all I, I see. Yeah. Okay, just just play it. I guess. <laughs> Realizing they are talking about me. Feeling super self-conscious. I wanted to cry. Okay, how do you, how do you feel about this, man? Do you know the backstory to this, too? The whole story to this? Uh, No, dude. That's, uh, that's wild, man. People still being childish? How- or... That's what that looks like. <laughs> how, do you, how do you feel about it? Give me a brief thought of of other video that you found. Uh, you know, if you uh, if you out and about, you know, you live streaming, you know what I'm saying. 
Um, I think I don't know. You, you just I don't know. I think uh, I think from from her perspective, right? From the live streamer's perspective, because I don't know I don't know what happened before or after or what whatever you know. Um, I don't know who she is. I don't know if she's big or not. But let's say if I'm her, I'm live streaming, right? And I'm just like feeling myself. Hey. And there's uh, people hating, right? Or, or you know, obviously being, you know, childish. Yeah. I'm still gonna do my. I'm still gonna do my thing. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's how I feel about it. I think you know. I think people are, you know, gonna be people. That's just what it is, I guess. Huh? That's how I feel about yeah. it. Yeah. Um, I think I think you know I think that is the correct, of course, the correct way to do it. But I think at the moment, you know, she was definitely self conscious of. Of herself, yeah. um, and obviously it was it was it was a term of like almost like bullying in a way, uh, because you're you're in public, man. You're in public area. You're gonna you know get cameras on you. You can't stop that from happening. You know what I mean? It's just it's legal and public space, man. And, freedom of speech, man. That's why I love this country, man. You know, that's why I love this country. And because right, because being people act people them. people act foolish, man. You can beat their ass too, man. I love this country, dude. I mean, yeah, you ain't get consequences. <laughs> you have to be in their asses because uh, you might go to jail and stuff. But worth uh, <laughs> the consequences comes after because, like, why right after when she posted the video, um, there was a lot of backlash. They found the chick that did that, oh, yeah. and um, many followers. What they did was they went to her job and dude. gave uh, her. She was a real estate agent or a real estate company she works for a real estate agent and they all went on there and start trolling and gave them a one-star review it was it was horrible wow. and then obviously there were some threats and whatnot um and yeah so uh, the next video is going to be tied in to the um, current view video here and this is the uh the boyfriend of the uh the girl that was flicking off her so uh if you watch that one that would be interesting boyfriend's reaction oh, okay go ahead yeah and then um another thing is like it kept on uh freezing up and when you maximize it like i'm not sure why it why it goes like that when i maximize it oh yeah yeah like when i when i blow you up like that it uh <laughs> that sound that sounded bad <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but uh but uh but but like this you, yeah, you're, you're fine? yeah 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 Okay. But you, when you do it on the stream, it it stops. Oh, it stops completely. For me, for me, whenever I'm viewing, I can still watch it with you. But then on the stream, it 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 stops on the stream. Oh, you know what? I think it's that um, it's that editing piece. Uh, I forgot. I showed you how to do it, but I forgot how to do it. I, I think I know what you're. I think I know what you're referring to. Oh, and then of course uh, Cameron knows about this video. Uh, oh yeah, he did. Yeah, Cardi B, um, we posted it as Damn. well, and that was when they really blew up after Cardi B. I need this video for something. you. A lot of negative reviews, <laughs> ex boyfriend. Um. But yeah, man, it's it's crazy. Um, but if you can watch the, uh, maybe you don't have to watch the whole video of the the boyfriend talking. But when you watch kind of the first thirty seconds, seconds you on yeah, it's like the same thing. It's a rant. Oh, you see. The fact that you're getting away with this with a fake story, getting people in your side, people harassing the girls in this video is absolutely disgusting. Not to mention the things that these girls could lose. Just because you want some likes and followers on TikTok. I'm gonna go through this whole video and debunk every single thing you said. Let me get this clear. The fact that you're being inconsiderate about this whole situation, knowing that you have 50k TikTok followers and 10k Instagram followers is insane to me. This is a lot of people and for every action, there's a reaction. Especially with that many people following you. The fact that these girls are getting hated on, as shown in these screenshots right here, truly insane. And also the fact that I have to come out here, me, instead of the girls because they don't want to be on camera, is insane to me. This is enough talking, so let's analyze the video. 
Okay, feeling my spice vibes. Was this necessary? First glance, you're probably gonna be like, this looks horrible. They obviously made fun of her, but this is not the case. Jackie, I just have one question for you. While you were sitting there, minding your business, feeling your spice vibes, what, what were you actually doing there? Because to my knowledge, that wasn't even your seat. It almost seems like you sat there just to get a reaction out of somebody. Wait, wait, wait. I, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Maybe she but moved. Yeah. But you, you can stop it. It's it's, it's a long I mean, video. I, I don't have, see I watched the hell, watched the whole thing too. But okay. So he mad? So like. simp or is he right? Is he simp or is he right? <laughs> Simple, is he right? <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't care, dude. <laughs> to be honest, <laughs> I don't give a fuck, dude. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, 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 it, karma's a bitch, you know. Stop being, stop being, you know, dick ass people. You know what I'm saying? Own up to your, to your foolishness. Oh man, you know what? You know what? <laughs> this, uh, this episode is sponsored by. <laughs> you still oh, got break your, time. You, still... you got the same one. You got the same nah, one. Nah, nah. Mine's a different brain. Huh. Mine's an off brand. Nice. It looks but like yeah, a vegan yeah, just, brand. Just, just, <laughs> it's all that, all natural cuss. No, no beef involved. But, uh, you know, like, like people just gotta, you know, stop being dumbasses, you know? Uh, that's really it. Yeah. And, uh, Cameron said it too. I think he said that, he said, uh, cancel culture has gone too far. I think, yes, <laughs> it has gone too far. But also, man, like, um, I don't oh, think man. those those justified moments are just like, oh, so sweet, man. It's just yeah, so, yeah, so good, man. That's, that's what the media man. wants. Ah, oh, man, I love that shit, man. I don't, I don't, I don't binge watch that shit. But man, when I when I stumble across it, I'm just like, ooh, God does exist. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, there is a God. Yeah. <laughs> you know it. Um, yeah, it, it gives us us justice man it's like finally you know some some payback you know it then again yeah, it's, it's kind of like uh bullying cyber bullying if anything um but yeah it has gone too far though where like there are threats and and it's it's horrible and hey man you know these girls you, you are fuck scared. around you find out man that's that's what it is dude you fuck around you find out dog <laughs> yeah these uh these girls they uh i don't think they even apologize they're kind of they made a video just kind of like you know, this shouldn't happen and things like that. It was, it was, it was silly. <sighs> yeah, um, that's funny. But enough, enough on your shoulders, man. Let's move on to the the good stuff. That was great. Thank you. All right. So this, uh, that, you know, that's our first segment. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You got, if you guys, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna step back. I'm gonna slow down. I said that a little, I said that a little bit too quick. If you guys enjoyed that segment, uh, make sure you join the Discord and. Uh, send us, you know, links of, you know, videos that you want us to review. Like, all this stuff, like, Frankie had to find for me to see for the very first time. So, these are stuff that I found or, or that, I, that I just saw, uh, a live reaction. So, you know, I'm sure, I'm sure Frankie would like to live react to some uh, dope stuff, too. So, if you join the Discord, it's free. Um, you just sign up with your email and input the videos you want to see or want us to see. <laughs> What, what Peter said. <laughs> hey, you wanna you wanna check chat? Yeah, yeah. Let me check chat real quick. Uh, we have um, yeah, Cameron saying country country has gone too far. Anthony said too far. Cameron said at this point we're becoming bully and cyber bullying. They're not judging or a jury. Uh, when you mess around with the people's jobs and livelihood. That's taken too far. That is that is true, man. And um, it man, it, no, but, it, but, it, but that's the thing, though. She was just she was just minding her own business, and then they were just in the background, and then the people that was watching took it into their own hands, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's not like she said, "Sick them, sick them." <laughs> um, vigilantism. We... That's what this is, man. Uh, and then Cameron said, I wish you folks were more like Keith Lee. Who's Keith Lee? I wonder who Keith Lee is. 
Um, but yeah, man, I think I think sometimes it does go too far, but sometimes I feel like these motherfuckers do deserve it, man. Like they should, like especially those um, like racism stuff and like beating up elderly and people find out and they lose their job and stuff. I mean, come on, man, you you gotta act straight, man. You gotta you gotta be um considerate of people around you and and not be outrageous, you know. And then get them people get people on their place, like you know. Don't be a shitty person. <laughs> Or else you can lose your job and get canceled. Oh, we gonna find you and we gonna we gonna get you. Come yeah, on. that's that's the beauty of the internet too, though. You know, like they will people will find you. Yeah. Hope nobody finds me. I'm. I uh, hope I am. I hope I'm not important enough. <laughs> Anyways, um, uh, our next segment. Take it away, Frankie. Um, are we going to the other uh, video section? Uh, it's it's whatever you had planned. I thought I thought it was question. I thought you were going to do a question, fifteen minutes, and then it was going to be me. Or did you want to oh, go off uh, of, um, your template? We can, we can do your template too. Yeah, we're gonna do uh we're gonna do one more of the uh, we're gonna soften it up with um good uh, videos at oh, the end, yeah. so then it won't be too harsh for us. Yeah. Bringing us back. Wholesome videos. That's what it's called. Uh, you want to do all three of them or just one of them? All three of them is fine. They're all pretty short. Okay, good. Yeah, we like that. Oh, oh shoot. And, uh, of course, I have... Um... I have um, a pretty um, strong question that I've been wanting to ask you in the past week. So okay, all right. definitely want to ask you that later some, too. Some strength, strength questions. Okay, here we go. Tight dog, that's a good one. We need more kids like that, man. What you said, we My need kids more kids be like that, bro. kids what? that are more more grateful of, um, you know, things. And, um, yeah, I mean, I don't I don't have a kid myself, but, um, I mean, my auntie, that's, that's, my that's, um, how, that's how you got it. That's that's how you, I, I, I saw that as like as a um, fatherhood, man. That's how I saw that video. Is that you're, oh, okay. you're struggling so goddamn hard to make ends meet and you're taking care of, you know, your family as best as you can. And then you, you can't afford shit sometimes uh, and you want to give them the world and, and the world, you know, is, is this little piece of cake. And it's a beautiful moment that that moment they had, man. That's tight, man. It's true, man. Uh, I looked at that, too. But I kind of surpassed that. Looked over like, oh, man, this kid is very, you know, she's. She's grateful, man. She, she's she's grateful like, to have what to have um you know kids should even be broke. Uh, a cake. <laughs> <laughs> more kids should yeah, be this, broke. So that way they understand the good her. shit. You know what I'm saying? Hey, that's what that's what uh that's what uh that's what my parents did for me, man. You know, we started from the hood and then they got us out of the hood, you know? So Oh, I've seen this one. This one's good. I'm so oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let me let me pull up the other the other ones too, so that way we're not all just awkwardly waiting for me to transition. You see what your dad goes through on a day-by-day -day basis? Yeah. You take that in by yourself? He tells me. Won't be laid down. <laughs> Fuck, I think we're all crying, dog. <laughs> your dad's a great man. He's done a lot, huh? You know your dad loves you? You love your dad? <laughs> Oh, that's tight, dog. Wait, so so he's What's the dad? One thing that your dad has taught you? No. Oh. To me, though. I think dad's uh, watching. Oh, okay. Like, like, not not on camera. Good. Yeah. That's tight. Do you, I think she, the kid was. I think the kid was looking on the dad too, on the on the left side. Yeah. Damn, that's tight, dude. 
Bro, man, that's yeah, dude. It makes me think of my kid, bro. Like I gotta, I gotta raise him correctly, you know. You have a kid? Soon, soon to be. <laughs> I I gotta wait till the child support come in, dog. <laughs> uh, that was that was a call. Uh, that was a callback to the to the very first episode. <laughs> I don't know if you got that, Frankie, but but that's what that was. Uh, when's the when's the last time you cried, dude? Last time I cried, um, I don't remember, dude. It's been a long time. Wow, heartless, eh? Um, all right, cool. It's been a while, yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't remember to be honest. You if anything, cry, like eh? maybe. That's how manly you are. You don't cry, eh? Nice, nice. Crying for crying for pussies, man. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> welcome to welcome to make it rain, dog. We don't cry, dude. <laughs> Hell, we just bottle all cry, our man. emotions in, and then one day we just blow up. <laughs> hey, you know, uh, nobody cry, is it? <laughs> <laughs> um, but this this one uh, this one's pretty wholesome too, man. Okay. This video is pretty. I mean, you you seen this one, but um, I like this one. I don't mind Here, Here we go. So glad I don't have to wonder what my purpose is anymore. I don't have to wonder what my identity is anymore. And I tell you, man, if you're wondering about what your purpose is and who, what your identity is, man, you, you got to know, you got to come to know Jesus Christ. He's the only thing that ever gives me purpose. And I tell you guys, I don't care if I win three belts in three different weight classes. Listen, the greatest thing I've ever done in my life was this. Tight. That gave me chills, man. Oh. Uh, I, would say, I would say all three of those videos gave me chills, man. Those are real good, man. Yeah, they were uh, pretty awesome videos, man. I, you know, sometimes I just need to go back and watch these those kind of videos to kind of um, bring me back to like yeah. blessings, kind of my blessings, you know. Yeah, dude, they remind you, man. Yeah. So you religious? I didn't know that. No, no, I'm not, not really, man. Uh, but I do believe in uh, spiritual. You spiritual? I spiritual, spiritual, yeah, spiritual. Um, I don't, I don't consider myself as a Christian. Um, I don't go to church every day. I don't go by the rules, but I do believe in a a God cool. out there. Um, maybe it's just not my time yet, man. Um, but I can't force something that I want to believe or or whatever maybe you know so um maybe it'll come one day you know so that's real good man wow thanks for you know you you you, you threw out the bitches cheating and and uh you know bitches ain't shit and then now you throw out these very heartwarming wholesome videos dude i like that man i like that dude tight tight Trying to be a better person, man. I'm trying to be a father figure. Heck yeah, dude. Heck yeah. Come I ain't got no kid yet. Uh, but yeah. Um, yo, yeah. It's me turning about to turn thirty, dude. That's it's that's crazy, and I think it's just like maturing and like just not focusing on partying and 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 trying to get bitches and trying to find the right girl. Is is definitely the uh, the focus more than let me find the right girl, right girl, find the right career, right purpose, and then the girl will come eventually. You know. Yeah, dude. Um, yeah, the law of the law of attraction, dude. That's what that is, man. You put out those energies, and then you'll get them. You'll receive them, dude. You know. Yeah, one thing that I that I'm really um, grateful for is I have uh, such a spiritual dad, and uh, even. Uh, parents in general my mom, my mom and my dad they're both very spiritual so like talking about like spiritual stuff to them um like they can relate they help me out they understand which is you know something huge in 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 my self development you know because like i can open up and talk to my 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 dad about god and 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 shamanism um and same thing as my mom too you know and um that's great, man. That's great. It's great to have uh, spiritual, religious uh, parents. That's dope, dude. You know, as you know, that was beautiful. And then uh, the way you entered it, I thought you were gonna say, you know, I, I'm so happy that I have Peter, but 
But that's not where it went. <laughs> it, went, it, went so, it went to your parents. So, so all right, you know, that's cool, man. Uh, I was like, I was, I was a little hurt. I was a little hurt. Uh, but, you know, we, I all think, can, um, we all can be first, unfortunately. I think uh, we, we, we do, I think you and I, we do talk about spiritual stuff, but I don't think we really get that deep into it um, like that. Cause I, um, just cause like my parents are, are shaman as well. Yeah. So like I, I relate to them a different way. Like I, I per se. Yeah. Um, I get it. I get it. Yeah. I get it. You don't love me. Um, I get it. All right, moving on. <laughs> love you, bro. I love you, bro. It's, uh, it's different. It's different. It's different. I'm just playing. Um, did you wanna you wanna add Ant in? Yeah. What's his and uh, and, do, and do you wanna hop in Ant? What's his uh, uh Ant, what's his Ant's uh, been trying to get in for, for a while here. His I think it's uh Chiefs something. C C F something. Chief? Yeah, Chief. That's his gamer tag. Oh, man. Let me let me uh let me get it. Oh, yeah. I think uh, this is a uh, this is the private. Um, this is the private one. Oh, um, it's uh, Chief Raka PBE. Yeah, he, he he doesn't show up. This is the this is the um, private channel. That's why. Oh, um, I think we should be able to switch on over. You want to switch on over to the watch party? Discord. To the so watch party. Yeah. What is that? Discord. Uh, where, where's the watch party? Voice, voice channel. It's right above oh. the music 24 7. I renamed okay. it. Okay. Sorry. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, boy. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. <laughs> yo 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 uh, uh, what, happened? what happened dude you wanna uh go straight to the questions hey what up Ant hey, Ant just got in oh dude yeah it's all funky now huh he's 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 uh Muted. Uh yeah, it, it is a little bit funky on the on the live. Okay. Yo, hey, hey you muted. Un 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 unmute yourself. What's up, guys? Can you hear me? Yo, yeah, yeah, I can hear you. What's up, dude? It's been it's been a minute, dude. Um, right now Peter's trying to fix the live right now. Um, it's not showing. Oh, there it is. Oh, let me get out of the... I see it. Yeah, make sure you close your porn, man. Oh, shut <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, so uh, we have about 15 minutes left before this segment ends, uh, or this uh, podcast ends, but um, we, uh, first off, man, how, how you doing, dude? It's It's been a minute, man. I'm great, bro. I'm great. Watching you guys is pretty funny. Um, pretty funny? Yeah, kick him funny. off, dude. Kick him off, dude. <laughs> How are you guys? Doing good, man. Yeah, we're good, man. We're, uh, you, you need more just... lighting in your face, dude. I know. What are you, Batman? Yeah, Batman. I don't know if the audio is coming through my mic or coming through my computer. You seem pretty consistent, so I think it's probably on your mic. Okay, cool. Yeah. yeah um... Go. So, a uh, question for both of you guys, man. Um, both of you guys got kids. You know, I think you guys can relate, and maybe you guys could answer this. Um, so, for the sake of your kids, and let's just say that you and your spouse have arguments all the time. Like, I'm talking about, like, deep arguments, like, things that you guys hate of each other. Like, when it comes up, it's just always argument, huge fights. Um, are you willing to, you know, compromise and like, just kind of like, let yourself go to let her win, and 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 for the sake of the kids, and not have like divorce involved. You know what I mean? 
Okay. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't understand the question anymore. <laughs> so <laughs> you're saying, you're saying if you get into so much, I don't understand the question because okay, so, so the question is, is, the question is this for the sake of your kids uh, for divorce. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> you're not asking us specifically how our marriage is doing. You're saying like if, if married people yeah, yeah. are like this, okay. okay. In, uh, in general, in general, okay. in general, if your wife is just always aggressive, um, and she's always trying to start something with you, yeah, you you're and there, dude. You're, I'm like, man, is Baku telling you stuff, dude? <laughs> no. <laughs> And that uh, she's always kind of almost like bringing up divorce, but then like at the urge of divorce, would you be willing to, you know, let your guard down and compromise and, you know, for the sake of your kids to, to, you know, let her win basically. Basically just put it, put it to the side, put your difference to the side for the kids. Yeah. And not, not consider divorce basically. I feel like if you're married, divorce should, shouldn't be, uh, part of the part of the solution, because it wouldn't be a solution, bro. It's kind of like giving up. A relationship it requires work. You know what I mean? There's always going to be peaks and valleys. Um. That's what. Yeah, bro. That's what. That's what marriage means, right? It's till death yeah. was part. For better yeah, and that that's kind of lost. That's kind of lost in today's society. Um, uh, you know, just because. People feel like they have options these days. Um, they're quick to throw in the towel. That's why divorce rates are so up. But that's that's part of the problem where society has uh, tried to separate the family. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, that's why there's so many kids broken, growing up in broken homes, things like that. So, I mean, as far as me, uh, yeah, I'd compromise 100%. Um, I think that's a wise choice, man. Uh, you're right. I think um, marriage is forever, man. Um, and the thing is that yes, nowadays, you know, people break up over the dumbest things. You know, um, of like, oh man, you're not buying me the right ice cream, or like, why do you keep on, you know, going out and stuff? You know, like it's not able to compromise with the relationship and not making it work. And like, also like, a lot of parents don't understand that they actually have the kids suffer more, you know, yeah. not growing with the, with the parents. And they suffer from emotional damage to even, like, it, kids with, without a dad growing up are most likely going to be, you know, in jail, dead, or, you know, in trouble Stop. somewhere. Yeah. So, I mean, I grew, I grew up in a, in a pretty broken home without my dad. And uh, it took me until I was older to realize what I was looking for uh, in life. Um yeah, I could have went that route, you know, drugs, gangs, but uh, thank God I didn't. You know. Yeah, it, it takes a lot of uh, maturity to to realize yeah. it, you know, to be like, oh shit, this is not where I want to go. Yeah. Um, but obviously, I think we all kind of dabbled in that space too, you know, and oh, yeah. uh, definitely made the right choices or the best choices. I think um, to add to that too, right, or to add to what Ant said. Right. Is that uh, monogamy. Right. Like like everybody's, you know, monogamous until the next relationship. You know, and, and I think that they get that ideology, you know, incorrect. You know, I, monogamy is, is just with that one chick, you know, till death do us part. And, and I think I think, um, you know, who, whoever's agenda it is, you know, is, is trying to split um, the family piece uh, apart, too. So I, I, I definitely 100 percent second what you said, Ant. That's tight. That's tight. Yeah, that's the, that's the devil almost, working, bro. It's almost like we uh, like we brothers or something, man. Oh, that's facts. Yeah, you know, and, and so another question, uh, Peter, you didn't really did you want to answer the question? Uh, you didn't really answer the the question if you uh, uh, wanted to answer. It. I think um, about I think I think just work work on your marriage, dude. You know what I'm saying? No, nah, that's really all all it is. You know, and be open to solutions, you know, be open to try therapy, be open to try stuff, you know, as much as you can. And then, you know, at the, you know, like, like really open your heart and give it 100% to, you know, fall back in love or, or to work on that love piece. You know, I mean, I, I always push the, the five love language, do that first, right, to 
get a different perspective, you know, that the marriage ain't about you. You know, I, I think in my, my own personal marriages, you know, I, I, I begin to just recently learned uh, why people say happy wife, happy life. You know, I, I'm so grateful about with, um, with, for, for my wife and, and, you know, I have everything I have and I'm able to do this with you guys because, you know, my wife takes care of the kids, you know, uh, she takes care of the house, you know, when I'm out, you know, working and when I'm out doing this with you guys and, and trying to build some, you know, build our future, you know, she allows me to do that by, by creating that, you know, home, you know, so. So let me ask you this. Let's say you do all your side, you're doing a hundred percent. And let's say she doesn't give a hundred percent and she doesn't take care of the kids anymore. She's like, I don't want to do this anymore. I, I'm tired. I, I do this a lot. I do this too much. You do it. What do you do from there? Like, she's not giving that hundred percent. She's like, I got you, girl. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I got yeah. you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You just, you just pick it up. As the man of the house, you just got to do what you got to do, you know? Okay. Um, I mean, there's more to how, it. How long do you, how long do you think you'll, you'll be able to do that? As long as it takes, man. I mean, you know, and, and that's, that's really, I mean, life, life's hard, you know? But I, that's why, like, I think but, the whole, for me personally, the spirituality piece is, is very important because it, it keeps me grounded, you know, and in, yeah. in, in, in my purpose in life is it's not about, you know, my own personal happiness, even though that's very important, you know, but it's about legacy. It's about, you know, um, like my life is, 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 is uh, more than just me, you know, so so the decisions I make impact more than just me so so that's yeah that's the perspective i take uh on life and in my marriage and and being a father and, and doing this you know this this brand too yeah. you know so i feel like as a as a dad you put uh the rest of the family's needs in front of your own that's yeah i completely agree man um I me mean, as a dude in general like you you have a lot of responsibility especially with the family because you're the main provider uh for the family because um, in, in in biology too is uh, you know women they they look for a provider, and they the reason why they look for a provider because whenever you guys do have a family, when she takes care of the kid, she wants to get, to know for sure that she's getting taken care of as well. Um, so it's just in our biology and like, well the the facing today's society's problem is that like the roles are kind of switching in a way. You know, yeah. Oh, yeah, and there's not a lot of uh, hardworking men out there anymore, or not even the willing to willingness to start a family. You know, um, and these girls are trying to manhandle uh, the guy and try to be the main provider. Um, I'm trying to be men. <laughs> <laughs> so it's it, this it's a lot of uh, things that are changing out there, man. Um, and of course, this podcast is kind of you know talks about. Just getting back to the roots uh, and understanding and being being stronger as as a as a whole. Um, but yeah, man, an another question was um, um, body counts, man. Does body oh. count in in a in a in a guy and in a girl the same? Or you know, are truth, they different? Truth be told, I'm still a virgin, dude. I'm still a virgin, dude. <laughs> Right. Uh, I, I mean, I've asked this. Uh, I've answered this question before. Uh, go ahead, Ant. Okay. What What's the question again? So, does body count um, for um, matter for man and woman? Does it matter? Is uh, there difference? I mean, it's. I don't know. Um, your past is your past. I feel like, but at the same time, no dude wants damaged goods. <laughs> Uh, I'm just being honest. Girls are more emotional when it comes to intimacy uh, than guys. Um, doesn't it doesn't necessarily make either one of them worse? But uh, I think from a man's perspective, uh, they don't want damaged goods. You know, you you said damaged goods, and in my mind went somewhere somewhere wrong. <laughs> I because you meant emotionally. Yeah, goods. yeah. I meant sorry, yeah. I I was I apologize. <laughs> it it can be that way too, you know, in a way. Yeah. Um because you know, a girl that, you know, this is 
just um you know statistically proven too like a girl that has been with the example um like a hundred bodies man um she's gonna be she's gonna have a harder time connecting with her husband uh emotionally and and sexually too and if they do get to an argument let's say they do connect and they do get to an argument a simple problem that gets her really mad in the back of her mind she can always say i can get another dude yeah that's what i mean by damaged goods you know so it's um it's 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 damage, man. Well, for what about for a dude though? Uh, I mean, dudes aren't as emotional, but I mean, the way I look at it, it's still it's still you don't want to live with lust. A lot of dudes they live with lust and they struggle with lust. Mm, mm. Um, so that's that's something that uh, you don't want to live with. It ruins a lot of things. Yeah, uh, that's true, man. It fucks, up how is you, real. it fucks up how you pee, man. Chlamydia is a bitch. Let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Uh, what were you, Peter? Uh, what were you, Peter? Uh, were body you? count. You? Body count. I think. I think Ant covered most of it, really. You know. I mean, like, 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 like. Well, well, it depends on what you're trying to do in your life. You know what I'm saying? If you're trying to, you know, yeah. party it up, have fun, then go. I'm go talking ahead. about like marriage, a potential wife. Oh, okay. Potential spouse. Whew, man, that's tough, man. I, I I haven't heard any successful happy ending stories of of somebody sleeping with the whole town and this person also. Th- you know, I, it, it it it's it's an anomaly if if it does happen, right? It's an anomaly. So I I think that's why like there are studies out there that that say hey, you know, don't fuck around, you know, and and, and stuff like that. So like just just I'm echoing what Aunt said. Um, and probably what you're, 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 you've said in the past already too, man. It's just, it's just, you know, if you like, like it goes back to our previous conversation too, right? Monogamy is, is, is just having that mindset way before, you know, you even think about, um, um, getting into a relationship or, or anything, you know, I, I think it, 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 it's, it's with your upbringing too, you know? So I don't know. Yeah, it's just today's society, man. It's not that, um, it's, yeah, the people are uh, getting divorces, uh, not getting to relationships. People are getting lonelier. People don't even have friends. That's that's the crazy part about society. We're just like getting separate. You know, I, We're separated. I, I, I tell you, I tell you what. Here's the thought, right? You know, like like for me, right? Uh, uh, growing up Christian, you know, sex was always kind of like a taboo thing we don't talk about. You know, and then so like in my mind, right. Uh, so I've had sex before I got married, um, but before for like some hardcore Christians, right? Some hardcore Christian who just you know virgin up until marriage. I'm just like, man, that that sex must suck, you know? <laughs> or or how do you even g- approach that? You know what I'm saying? Like if if it's if it's like so taboo, you know, it's just kind of like, hey, you know, Adam and Eve, you know? Uh, <laughs> you know, I, I I don't know I don't know how 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 like how like being a virgin into marriage would even be how to initiate that, you know? Cause I like, I'm, I'm already like an awkward kind of person, you know? And then, and then to, to, to do that, you know, it's, it's, uh, I don't know. I, I just wanted to throw that thought out there. You know what I'm saying? Cause maybe, uh, Peter, maybe, we're going to, we're going to end up to our session. Okay. We're going to end our session real quick. Did that's you want to answer that in a question? That's a great stopping point. <laughs> Cool, cool. All right, man. Well, um, and thanks for joining us, dude. Uh, we'll get you in again next time. Um, sorry, it was kind of short today. Um, good to but, uh, uh, see you guys and talk to you guys. Yeah, dude. Hey. Yeah. yeah. You know where we at, man? Yeah, you, you ain't gotta wait till uh till Thursday at eight p.m. to to hit us up. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. All right, geez. You guys have a great day, and um, I'll see you guys next week. All right, we're signing now right. off. You know, thanks for joining the Discord. Uh, for people who are on the Discord, for those who are on Facebook Live, thanks for joining us every Thursday, 8 p.m. We try to start just today. We're kind of a little late. You know, I apologize. But, you know, send us uh, video recommendations for us to review on the Discord. Um, I provided the links to the Patreon. I launched that today. Um, you know, sign up for exclusive content. Discord's free. That's all I got.
Yeah, guys, yeah. join the Discord. Uh, we're going to do a lot of watch parties there, uh, watching fights, games, to uh, main events. I think we're also going to watch the uh, Logan Paul fight in there, right? Somehow in, in, in August. The but obviously, we're going to have... Uh, yeah, we might even do the, the NBA finals um, on there, too. So we can definitely have a watch party there. So make sure to join the Discord, guys. All right, we're out. Peace. Peace.